1960-61, and they would go on to win the league and the FA Cup that year. Elvis surely dampened the mood of Spurs fans. Mm, they have to get, they have to improve their squad. Rodrigo Benta could return to the squad, yes, sir. that's a bonus. Yes, that's a, a, a huge bonus. Yeah. Uh, because they seem to be largely dependent on um, about four or five players and you worry for them. The good thing is that they're out of Europe yeah. in this season. So basically it's mostly one game a week. And they're out of the Carabao Cup too, As because we're yeah. knocked out early. So you play one game a week, mm. maybe the, the exception of a few weeks during the course of the season. Before they played on Monday and uh, played yesterday. On Friday. On Friday, but they won both games. Mm. And, and they have no game. For example, next week is League Cup action in the midweek, so they do not play. Mm. So they don't play again until next weekend. That's another eight days of preparation. Yeah, for Andrew Postecoglou. Group. But for me, it's been about for me doing the basics. I was reading there the story about Spurs, be the Guardian or BBC. Uh, it looks like he's done, he's going back to the basics. Get the best out of every player, try and improve um, the relationship between the coaches, the manager, and the players and um, try and understand each player um, um, uh, individually. Uh, going out to the basics, and eventually that has uh, improved a number of those Spurs players. For example, we did not see much of uh, Papessa mm. uh, last season. Um, he's but but, but even that, for me, Elvis, and I've heard that a lot, yeah. that he looks very good while he did not play last season. I, th I even think that also is overstated, because he's clearly a young player. Yes, he is. And uh, you don't think... A year, a year older is a year wiser in football, I would imagine, or in life. Mm. So maybe he's smarter now. Maybe he's also been helped by the fact that Rodrigo Bentancur has been out injured since February, returned yesterday after a nearly nine-month absence. Maybe it's because Pierre M. Hoibia has fallen out of favor after failing to join United in the transfer window. So some of these things are overstated. And the coach, the last coach, did not have faith in Sam. Mm. But talk about a player who was what 19. Uh, but this man, that is just one player. Yeah. You can mention other players that have been improved. His midfield partner, Ives Bissoma. Ives Bissoma. Uh, Even uh, he, Elvis Gobak, he was also injured for large parts of the past one yeah, and a half years. Yeah, but clearly you could see that uh, Antonio Conte did not trust him that much as mm. well. You can um, you can mention okay Richardson has issues he's been given time but he's not <laughs> uh, but uh, he's switched roles as well uh, in the team as on Hwang Min oh, Min Son now plays as um, largely as a centre forward yeah and so Richardson of the left and he's also changed the leadership giving uh, handing the captaincy to, to Son. Son and um, I think the assistant captains as well that is a shift from uh, Hugo Lori. And, Eric, uh, Dyer Eric and, Dyer and Harry Kane, yeah. who since departed. Uh, these days, you might even forget that uh, Hugo Lloris is still at, at Spurs. At Spurs, yeah. Eric Dyer warms the bench. But basically, they seem to have uh, taken it. At least there is no noise. Much, I think I heard something from Eric Dyer. I think because of the England, being in the England setup and all. And in the Euros coming the Euros up. coming up. But largely, there has been some normals returning to that Spurs team. And eventually, for me, that's one of the reasons why they're playing some... Oh, uh, at his best conference on Thursday, Ange Postecoglou was asked whether this is a better Spurs team than they were with Harry Kane. And he said no. I thought that was very smart. Yeah.